Now this rule is one that some of you might think would be number one for me. I didn't invent it, but I did make it my own. Hello, my wandering partner and friends, Bill here. So rule number four is my old catchphrase, it depends. Now, some of you scoff when you hear that, but others of you know that sometimes or often the answer to a question or the right choice in a decision often depends on different things, different factors in the context of the question. The world seems to be pushing us in the direction of wanting just quick answers, uh, sound bites. Um, and that can be a problem, right? When we try to boil everything down to just a sound bite or that um, sweeping generalizations, that's a problem. You know, we create bad answers. We create stereotypes uh, and, and false dichotomies. Verge Meredith was one of my mentors at IBM when I worked in VM performance. And uh, people would often come to Verge asking about the performance of a given system. And he had a saying that, Anybody that wanted a single number to describe a system performance was probably going to misuse it, right? The, the idea that uh, systems and a lot of things in general are too complicated to boil down to a single number. Well, if you're wondering where I am today, I'm at Nathaniel Cole Park, part of the Broome County Park System uh, here in Harpersville, New York. Uh, kind of a chilly day here. Uh, I saw one person out here walking a couple puppies. Uh, but in the summertime, there'll be quite a few more people here. The, the beach over there, uh, you'll see that filled with families enjoying that. Uh, there's also some boats you can rent here. And uh, over here on the hill here, you'll see some disc golf course there as well. Uh, nice little lake here formed uh, by the dam here of, I uh, can't remember the creek. You can help me out there, Glenn. So rule number four is, it depends. Now, that doesn't mean I don't think there's absolutes. I absolutely appreciate all of you tuning in and spending time with me and looking forward to talking to you again. Have a great day, y'all.